Matt, it's been an absolute hot minute since we did a proper comparison. I mean, we've done the Resi stuff recently in the last couple of months. Yeah. But it was like GT7 and GTA 5 that we did that was the last kind of big newish release. Uh, so here we have Saints Row. Seven consoles. Um, <laughs> lots to talk about in the next 14 minutes and 30 seconds. And we'll kick things off with the frame rate, as we always do. Yep. Um, and the frame rates, you know what? Pretty good. Um, well, pretty good for the last gen stuff. Like I was going to say, it, it very rarely drops below thirty on the PS4. There's the odd drop, and the PS4 Pro is like a thirty-five consistently. Is it just so, uncapped then? That's quite interesting. It seems that way. Yeah. These are the next gen versions. PS5 has got five different settings. We're only looking at the top three. 4K is about 35-ish, drops to like 32. The frame rate is like 60 to 55, whereas the ray tracing for 1440p is about 30 to 45. Okay, okay, okay. Right, now onto the Xbox. The One S is pretty much the same as the PS4. Um, 30, it drops down below to like 27 more than the, the PS4 version. The, the One X is like 35-ish usually. Okay, yeah. And the Series S is like 40 to 45, 50. Right, Series X, another the three modes. The 4K is pretty much the same as the PS5, yep. about 35. The 1440p frame rate is about 60 to 55-ish at yeah. a low drop. And the Series X, um, the ray tracing mode, is like 45, 50. And those 50s aren't too bad with sort of variable refresh rate if you got that with your telly. Um, but... Yeah. Right, and here we are now. I can relax a little bit and we can just look at the game in motion. And as you can see, it it, it looks okay. I mean, it obviously <laughs> looks pretty decent on the, the Series X, but like it doesn't look fantastic on the One S. I'll no, be honest. No, but it also doesn't look it still it looks like it's running on the One S, do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't look too far yeah, off what exactly. I expect. I mean this is a super old console now. The fact that they're still supporting it is just absolutely nuts. Yeah. Yeah. But like this PS5 crisp, uh, and now straight into the Series X. Um, like, we're going to see as we go on, uh, there isn't that much of a difference between the two, if there is at all. Usually one version is slightly better, yeah, and it varies from game to game. Um, but as you can see, the step up from the PS4 to PS4 Pro. I guess that's why they still haven't dropped the PS4, right? Because the Pro's still a good machine. I mean, the, yeah, the Pro is still a good machine. The uh, the One X is still a good machine, but you you can't just release it on them, right? You've got to release it no. on the, the base ones as well. So, uh, yeah, it is interesting. And as you can see, the sl the slight step up from um, the frame rate to the the Ultra HD version, 4K version, um, the ray tracing version. I think it's meant to look better than the um, the frame rate version, which would make sense. Okay, lower frame rates, but yeah, I mean, it's it's not a massive step up. No, I mean, I mean it, it. It looks basically like the same game in every version, right? Like the 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 resolution is higher, and therefore we're seeing more yeah. detail. But there's not a massive difference between the textures or the quality of the actual like foliage in this case, right? Like no, yeah, the 4K does look better than the 1440p, yes, it's, yeah. which it's going to be obviously. Um, but here we have the two side by side now, the two super machines of the next generation. Um, and yeah, mate, I, I'll be honest, I've gone through this a few times now, um, and I couldn't really see any differences. And in a couple of shots, um, you'll see that this is the frame rates, the frame rate versions look the same in terms of lighting, detail, also the fact that I've managed to get the, the, the time of day pretty much I was just across. about to say that. I was, I'm very impressed considering how much of a pain that is to do in this game. Yep, especially in an open world game where there is no clock as yeah. well. So I was, I was basically just using shadows as my clock, standing in the same place and just using shadows. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, fun. But, Matt, the next shot is a super zoom. I think it's a 1,000%. Oh, and as wow. you can see, like, I can't actually see any difference between the two. No, that's pretty That's pretty much... The detail in the sign is basically the same, right? Like, Because you yeah, have had ones in the past, right, where you've been like, oh, there's a surprising amount of difference there, but... It's just, exactly. just the same. Yeah, I can't remember. I think it was uh, one of the Resi games, actually. Yeah, maybe. Um, oh, and was it one of the Hitman games as well? Whereas if you like do the super zoom, you can actually see that the resolution's slightly better yeah. in one version. Um, 
But yeah, I'll tell you what, the, the frame rate version, as you see that woman just running across, <laughs> uh, super smooth. As, like, you can see the burger spinning in the background as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously you've got the, the 60 FPS versus the, what is it, 40, 35 and like 50? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, there's, such so. a, there's such a variation, actually. I'm quite surprised. You don't see a lot of games these days coming out at like running at like 35 36 and then like 44 45 like you tend to get yeah. a 30 and a 60 and, yeah it's usually um, capped right yeah and here it really feels like they're just being like well as high as it will go and uh which is it's an odd choice i know some people don't like it some people would rather it was capped at you know a 30 rather than moving between 32 and 37 or whatever but it can be a little bit jarring right yeah if you've got 30 your eyes get used to it if it's going from 30 to 40 then i mean it takes You'll notice the thirties because the forties are so smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's, a, it's a, definitely a choice that they've made there, and um, maybe it's I don't know future proofing it. You know, if this is on PS six, it will run up to sixty. Like I, I yeah. don't know. Well, this is it. There are the two other modes that obviously we haven't tested because we haven't got the capture equipment uh, to capture one hundred and twenty FPS. But it could be in one hundred and twenty FPS. I do not know because we have not run any of our tests. That's the ten eighty p modes, isn't it? Yes, yeah. that is the ten eighty p modes. Yeah. Um, but Matt. We'll do another super zoom. I think this next one's seventeen hundred percent. Okay. Uh, just to look at that menu on the side, and again, like I can't see any difference at oh, all. PS Five is kicking his ass, Dan. Can you not? Can you not tell? Oh, yeah, from- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at that, that, that H. H. Yeah, the H. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that that could be the fact that I'm stood slightly further back. I mean, so, it could be like, literally anything, right? There's, 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 there's almost nothing between the 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 two of them. Series S looks really nice, I will say. Like that's still yeah. proving to be a a good, you know, console at that at the budget that that costs, right? Like, yeah. And if you're looking at the to the left, just above the bridge, you'll see. Um, you can't actually see read the text on the the railing of that sign above the bridge. You can't read it on the PS4. But as you go up the versions, you actually start to be able to. PS4 Pro. Oh, you can actually see there's some text on the little green sign. Oh yeah, okay. And then now, oh, you could probably make that out if you zoomed in. Yeah. I mean, my eyes aren't that good. If I start to squint um, a bit, I think uh, exactly. Maybe. But in terms of like, um, we'll get onto it a little bit. But in the in this shot, like the water obviously looks better on the, the higher end consoles, um, which is why I kind of kept that in. Yeah. Uh, and more foliage because everyone loves a bit of foliage. We love a bit of bush around here, Matt. Um, <laughs> And as you can see, again, like the PS4 and the the, the One S as well, that they they're, they cope, but they're yeah, you know what I mean. They're, I'm I'm not sure that they should be in this race anymore, but hopefully we can just because then it makes my life easier as well. Do, do yeah. you know what I mean? Three consoles doing comparison videos as opposed to seven. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. Well, it takes me like ten hours to capture all of this. On seven different versions. It's interesting though, because like, there's no. It doesn't seem to be any change in geometry and stuff like that. There's no extra no, foliage from what I can see. So this is, and it's something that you know uh, we've all been playing it on the sort of the modern consoles and back again. And I think we've all been a little bit unimpressed with how it looks. Um, and that just seems yeah. like it is just an upraised version of the of the last gen one, right? right. And and also the fact that the step up from like let's say the Pro to the Series X and the PS5 isn't massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so you do have this sort of scaling across all of it, and uh, I mean, it doesn't need to be the best looking game in the world, but um, no, no, true, true. But you, I mean, we're getting into this what, eighteen months into next gen. Yes. Um, and I, f- I feel like we're at the point now where we should s- start to see some massive steps forward, yeah. but. Well, it's current, it's current gen now, it. right? Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm still until they drop last gen. Yeah, I'm calling it next gen. Yeah, no, it it, is, you it, are right. It is current gen, 100. percent But if in during the PS4 era, this would be current gen now. But I feel like the lack of consoles as well, right? The lack of stock, it sort of means yeah, that, which is yeah, which is exactly why they're still supporting the last yeah. gen stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, this this will sell well on PS4 and Xbox One. Those like they will, it will sell as well there as it does on the new stuff, no, no doubt. Um, yeah, you would think so. You'd yeah. think so. Uh, and people have been screaming out for a game for forever. Yeah. So, like, an actual kind of AAA game with AAA budgets. Um, I'm not sure it's the, the best game ever, but, you know, like, go and read the review on our sites yeah. <laughs> um, to get our actual insight. But, yeah, it's, it's okay. But, like, technically, it's, it's not impressive at all. No, um, it's, it's what you expect very from, average. from an open world 
right? Like it's, it's not pushing the the boundaries by any stretch, no, and it's always been but, sort but of. Like, but like Cyberpunk and GTA Five are pushing it much further, and they're much older games. Yeah, but I Saints Row has never been like a graphical powerhouse, is it? As a as a series, it's always it's it's more about the the fun and the wackiness. It's it's never been about oh look at the look at the 4K and stuff like that. Um, and yeah. it, it has its moments. The lighting can sometimes be really nice. Like Also, the Series X has added mariachi bands uh, on the left by the door that you don't see in the Xbox One S version. You see <laughs> one in the X version. Next gen exclusive. And an entire band. Um, <laughs> Xbox Series X exclusive mariachi band. Yeah. Um, obviously, that's not the case before anybody takes me seriously. <laughs> yeah, for, um, we, we get, can we get sued for that? I feel like we can't, right? Yeah, There's, but do you see them now on the left? Yeah, uh, yeah They're yeah. having a great time. <laughs> uh, but on the PS5, they're having a break, mate. They're having a break. <laughs> so, happy days. Um, but yeah, like it, it just didn't blow me away. Like even the like the 4K version. Um, oh, this is what we're going to talk about now. Um, I kept this shot because this will show you the difference when we get onto the ray trace and stuff okay. in terms of the shadows and stuff like that. So if you look in that little archway on the right, when that changes to the next gen stuff, you'll actually see on the ray tracing version like the more real realistic lighting. Oh wow! Because that's what ray tracing is. Yeah. So you do get a little bit of that with a ray tracing version. Oh, that's, that's actually Look, a very good example of that, because yeah. I've not spotted anything while I've been playing, but no, that's really good. Well, no, and there's loads of other stuff as well that I was looking out for, like, you know, in terms of reflections and yeah. things like that, and, but, I mean, the ray tracing mode, uh, I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. I mean, you're either, <laughs> on this, you're either going to choose the 4K mode if you want the crispness, yeah, um, or the the frame rate 1440p mode for, so you see it again here as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, the 1440p mode for... The frame rate. Yeah, so that's, that's what I've been using. Depends yeah. what can be falling. I've actually been using the 4K mode, which should surprise no one that's been on our channel um, <laughs> for a while. Um, Dan yeah. doesn't care about frame rate. <laughs> he, I he, do, but I, I mate, well, I'm, I'm sick of these five modes. Yeah, I know. Like, and I, like I, these, just give me 4K 60. Yeah. Minimum. And that, we just but haven't got it. that a lot of things, right? And for, I will, yeah, I guess it's a big open world, but for a game that looks as good as this I mean the texture on that PS4 Pro is a lot better actually than on the base oh, PS4 yeah. that's that's the biggest upgrade that I've seen so far in these comparisons like yeah but actually if you look at the 4K the Ultra HD version yeah. now it's like wow that's actually like well smart that's like sexy yeah. do you know what I mean yeah 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 uh, there, is a, there is you can see the the texture on the, the on his ass um, step up as you move up the versions <laughs> um, but but yeah I mean the, the Series S is a, a decent enough version um, like the, the the extra frames will probably turn a few people, knowing that the the One X is almost the kind of the same frame rate as the Series X. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the Series X is obviously doing 4K. Um, so yeah, like it's yeah, it, it it's one of those games that didn't blow me away. But I mean, uh, Saints Row has never blown me away in terms of visuals. No, no, it's not what it's there for. And like I. I yeah, I think, like you're saying, you want 4K60 on things, you sort of want to be blown away by the visuals, right? Which is why you're playing yeah. on the, four, the full 4K modes so often. Yeah. Um, but it's difficult. Like, it is, and it seems like developers are struggling to hit that 4K60. That's it, mate. Um, Saints Row, it's out, I want to say, tomorrow. Uh, the 23rd, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's just, let's just say it's out tomorrow. If not, uh, you'll be disappointed. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll be back now more regularly with the... Um, comparison stuff because the games are actually starting to come out in the next couple of months so that'll be fun thanks for watching folks don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time cheers folks bye bye